Hey guys, so today we're gonna try out try hack me blog. So Billy Joe just made a WordPress blog and he found that there are some weird things going on on his laptop. So we need to find a way to exploit this machine. Let's see how can we do that. But before everything we start, we need to add the blog.thm into the etc host first. So we copy this IP first. Go back to here. etc host. Okay. Start mode. Paste it and then blog.thm. Okay. So now I've performed a part scan for this machine already. So let's check out the parts first. We have found four parts open over here. So the interesting part over here will be the part 80 and the port 445 which is the SMB port. Let's try to check out the SMB port first. Okay, as you can see over here, we can list all the share names over here without using the credentials and we found the Billy SMB. This share is kind of suspicious, right? Quite interesting over here. So let's try to use SMB pack to check out what are the shares that we have the permission to read or write here? Okay, we let it run first. Okay, so only the Billy SMB this share we can have the permission to read and write here. So that's the SMB trying to access it. List and there's three files over here. Let's try to get the at least white rabbit in this image first. And we get another image. Check this. Okay. So the at least white rabbit will be an image over here, and this one will be the QR code. Let's try to use stack height to extract. Is there anything else that interesting in there or not? Or hidden in there without passphrase? And we got the data extracted. Rabbit hole. Okay, it seems like this one is intentionally rabbit hole. So let's skip it. So we try to use online QR code image scanner. Use this one. Upload the image file. Okay, we need to find the QR code first. The QR code, yeah. Okay, we upload it, and this is the link over here. We try to click it, and it shows that it redirected us to a YouTube channel over here, a YouTube page, and the video for it will be Billy Joe. Okay, it seems like this one is another rabbit hole too. So let's ignore it. Nothing much we can get in the SMB part. So we try to check out the HTTP part. Okay, another from mom. Um, okay, so seems like this one the author is Karen Villa. Check out over here. Okay, Billy, this one, and another user might be a Billy over here. So Kelly Villa is a mom over here. So it seems like Billy is Kelly Villa's son. Okay, we'll try to check out this one. Go into the content over here. And we saw that there's two comments over here. First, Billy Joe just comment in a note from mom this post. And Kelly Villa just replied it. So we found two users over here. First one is Billy Joe, the second one is Karen Villa. So let's check around over here. Let's check and see. How can we check? Okay. For Karen Villa, the username will be KView. Okay. So we save the user first. Okay, view. So as we can see over here, how the uh, person specify is K will be the first name, the first character, and then Villa, they just took view. So for another user which is a Billy Joe, it might be B Joe, right? So let's check it out over here. B Joe. And we found the Billy Joe username. So the username will be B Joe. Okay, so we go back to here. B Joe. We save the username first. 
Okay, so now we go to the admin page. You can check and see first. This is the correct username for you not. Okay, view. Okay. Okay, KV is the correct username. Just the password and you're wrong. You didn't know what's the password. And then we should try to use BJO and the credential also like this BJO. Okay, BJO is, is another username too. But in this case, we didn't know what's the credential for that. So let's try to use the rock you to crack it. We use the Hydra. This one will so. This one will be the rock you. And then block push m push cpp post form okay so over here we launch this one first go to the network tab type main thing also here click log in we need to get the parameters okay so this one is a wp login okay and then the parameter for it will be a log and pwt the log will be the username and then pw will be a password parameter okay so this is an error message I'll copy this one and paste it over here we have 64 thread over here let it to crack first see what are the credentials we can find over here Okay, so now we let it to run first over here. Let me check out over here. See if there's anything else you can do now over here. Hmm. Check out the robots.txt. Okay, WP admin is allowed. This one injects allowed. Okay, nothing much. And we just found the credential for KView user. The password is QtPy. So we copy it, go back to here, k view qtpy. Oh no, this one is qtpy1. qtpy1 over here, yeah. So let's try and check and see, is this a correct credential for you or not? Okay, it seems like that's the correct credential. But for this user, it's not an admin user, so we can't edit the team editor over there. What we can do, we we'll try to enumerate over here first. First, we need to see what's the version. The version is 5.0 WordPress. Okay, we go to the media library, check out is there anything else interesting over there. Okay, there's three image over here, but empty. Try to click over here. Check check and see. Hmm, seems like there's a try actor over here try to exploit this WordPress. Try to abuse the LFI over here. Even the name also is kind of weird, right? Okay, try out the post. See is there any draft post or not? Okay, there's a draft post over here. With a weird name too. Kind of weird over here. Okay, but over here, nothing much over here you can do. Try to find is there any public exploit for this WordPress version or not. Clear it out first, we use the exploit. WordPress. Plus 5.0 version. Oops. Okay, seems like there's multiple exploitation of here. This one is kind of interesting. Crop image shell upload. So that's an exploit for WordPress Core 5.0, which we can use the core image shell upload this exploit. And it's available in Metasploit. So let's use this one to gain our shell. So we search for WordPress 5.0. Okay, so we use this one. WP Chrome RC. We check the options. Okay, we set the uh, host first to block.thm. Then set the username to kview. 
then the password is going to be 551 okay so now we need to set the L host listening host is going to be LIP then this is my listening part then I'm going to set the payload the payload I'm going to use php interpreter reverse tcp oops okay now we run our exploit see this this work or not preparing the payload uploading payload image uploaded okay so far so good hmm still running right okay wait for it to run first go and check and see over here is there any other exploit there for you not okay local for inclusion but this one is for the plugin xml rpc deny of service viewing authenticated authenticated password private post okay okay so it seems like our interpreter session just open over here so wait for it for to return our interpreter shell first so go back to here and check out anything interesting or not seems like nothing much interesting over here this one is a javascript file for this exploit and we use this one is for an exploit okay we like to clean up all the files first okay this might take quite more time hmm. okay so we just got our interpreter shell and the user is dub 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 data over here so we dump into our shell id okay so we spawn our tty shell Okay, dub 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 data. We go to the home. We enumerate over here. There's one user, B Joe. Check out the B Joe. Okay, so there's a user flag over here. Try and check the user flag. But it said that we won't be finding anything over here. So it asks us to try harder. Okay, so go back to here. We need to answer this question first. What is the version above CMS has been used? 5.0. Okay. This is now we found over here, right? Go to the dashboard map. Okay. Wait for it to run first. Version 5.0. So the answer is 5.0. What is the CMS that Billy using? WordPress. Obviously, it is a WordPress, right? okay so we need to find the user.txt where can we find it where's the user flag hiding okay but before that we try to check and see is there any binary that we can exploit now okay execute to run first okay so there's a lot of binary that I have SUIDB set we'll try to find those that interesting so this one those are the common binary that have SUIDB set but over here if we notice that checker we didn't saw that before right doesn't seem kind of common right with this one it's not obvious that it shows over here okay so we try to check out this one go back here we try to execute it it tells us not an admin hmm that's weird try to check out the help page it seems like it doesn't have any web help page not an admin try to use strings check it over here try to check and see over here first okay not an admin then bin bash admin ok 
Okay, system seems like you use system to execute some system command, then get environmental driver. Okay, interesting. So now we try to pass this file back to our terminal. So go here. So let me pass this one back to my terminal first. Okay. This one is checker dot backup put it as so pass it over here, transfer it back. Okay, run transferring, cancel it. So now we're gonna use guide run to perform the reverse engineering of this binary. So we go to our home. We will find where the binary has to save over here. Okay, I save it over here. Okay, open it. Okay, check uh, this binary. So let's perform reverse engineering on it. Yes, we need to analyze it. Yeah, use the default values. Okay, I open up the function. We go to the main check. Okay, so PC var1. This one is a string. Okay, so get the environment variable admin store the value to PC var1 and if the PC var1 is 0 equal to 0 the hexadecimal of 0 and then it put not an admin okay or else the SUID gonna be 0 and execute the system bin bash this binary so it seems like the admin this one uh, what's it called the environmental variable it should have something else over there if the admin variable is nothing the hexadecimal is going to be zero right so you will put as not an admin so I'm trying to put something at the admin variable so export admin equal to um, on. okay so now we try to execute this binary again and as you can see then we have just gotten our root shell so we go to the root and capture our root flag. So this is our root flag, uh, root flag, and then we need to find our user flag first. Okay, so name user.txt type f. Okay, the first one is going to be in the home bjo this directory. The second one is going to be in the media USB. So check out, check out the media USB. Media USB. Okay, there's a user flag. And we just capture the user flag. So we have answered all the questions over here. So that's how we can own this machine. So that's all for my video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.